Hello, everyone, and welcome to another multi-sensory story time brought to you by the Washington Talking Book and Braille Library. My name is Erin Groth. I'm the Youth Services Librarian here, and this week we are celebrating Dia! Si, hoy estamos celebrando el Dia de los Niños, the day of children, the day of libros, the day of books. We are celebrating reading and storytelling and all of the children across the world who love doing just that. So join us today with our multi-sensory story time and celebrate with us. Let's start with our hello song. I'm going to sing it on my ukulele. It's called Hello Friends, and I hope you sing along. Here we go. book my friends time to sing time to dance time to play and time to put our ukulele away goodbye mr ukulele because it's time to do our finger play songs let's do our first song up oh, it's called i had a little turtle and we're gonna make a turtle with our fist with one finger flat on top of that fist and your other hand covering that whole fist because you've just made a turtle's head for your thumb and the shell is your hand. Here we go. I found a little turtle who lived in a box. He swam in the water and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea, he snapped at the minnow, and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. No, he didn't. Good job, my friends. Let's do another song. Let me see some fish swimming around. Yeah. Have a flat hand with all your fingers facing forward and your thumb pointing up to the sky and then give it a wiggle. That's our fish swimming around. Here we go. A slippery fish, slippery fish swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by an octopus octopus squiggling in the water octopus octopus yum 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 <gasps> oh no he's been eaten by a great white shark a great white shark lurking in the water great white shark Great white shark, yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, yum, yum, yum. Good job, my friends. Did you see all those sea creatures? Oh, that's a great song to sing. Let's do one more finger play and then we'll be ready for our felt story. Are you ready? Let's do the froggy song. Can you get a frog under your chin? Rib it, rib it, rib it. Take your thumb and your index and middle finger and flick those froggy legs under your chin. Rib it. Yeah, here we go. I found a little froggy, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, glug, glug, glug. He ate up all the soap. Um, 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 um. <gasps> now he's home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. 
Great job, my friends. I hope you popped those bubbles. And we are going to put our wiggling fingers away because it's time for our felt board story. As you can see on that schedule behind us, it's time for felt board or flannel board, however you prefer to say it. But today's story is called Five Little Babies. And how many babies do we have on our board today? One, two, three, four, five. And all of these babies are looking for a bedtime story. Let's see, what will they read about? <clears throat> five little babies want to read a book. Come on over, let's take a look. The first book is square, blue, and neat. We can listen to it with our ears for a tasty treat. It's called Fry Bread, and it's written by Kevin Noble Maillard. It's a great story about a Native American family, and we love to listen to it here on our audiobooks. So let's give this book to our first little baby. Here we go. And off they go to read. Good night, baby. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four left. Four little babies want to read a book. Come on over, let's take a look. This book is all about the things we can do like running and jumping and balancing too. It's called Jake at Gymnastics by Rachel Isadora. And there are some children balancing on a balance beam on the front. That looks like a great book. Let's give that to our baby number two. Off she goes to read. All right, who we have left? One, two, three. Three babies. Three little babies want to read a book. Come on over, let's take a look. A special story about the clothes we wear. So much fun to read and share. This book is called under My Hijab by Hannah Khan. Yes, let's give that to our fourth little or third little baby. There we go. Good night, little baby. Oh, that's a great story to tell. How many do we have left? Two left. Two little babies want to read a book. Come on over, let's take a look. This one is a story that is real and true. Maybe one day we'll read a book about you. This book is called Dumpling Dreams and it's by Carrie Clickard. And it's all about a real person who used her culture's dumpling making skills, which is a delicious food, and became a restaurant owner. That is a great story for our fourth little baby to listen to as he goes night night. Good night, baby. We have one left. One little baby wants to read a book. Come on over. Let's take a look. This one is a bright, happy tale. And feel inside it has print and braille yeah we can feel those bumpy braille dots on the inside this book is called book fiesta it is written by pat mora and it is bilingual that means it has english and spanish inside oh what a great book for our last little baby to read. All right, all of our babies have their books. Good night, little babies. They are excited to read those books and our flannel story is all done. So I'll put that to the side as well because my friends, up next is 
our scarf time. Can you get a scarf out? Yeah, let me see your scarf waving all around. Here we go. My scarf today is red. It's a big rectangle. It's very large. And you can see through it. Yeah, there we go. Let's do our song. I'm sure you know this one. It's If You Happy and You Know It. And we're gonna wave our scarves first. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, toss your scarf. Woo! If you're happy and you know it, toss your scarf. Woo! If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, toss your scarf. Woo! If you're happy and you know it, cover your face. If you're happy and you know it, cover your face. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, cover your face. <gasps> Boo! If you're happy and you know it, spin around. Stand up. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. Yeah, can you spin around with your scarf like a helicopter or a top? Yeah. All right, my friends, let's give our scarves one last wave or one last toss or one last covering your face because we are all done with scarf time. We're putting those scarves away. If you wanna hold on to it, that's okay too because up next is our story time. And you're welcome to hold that scarf as long as we are reading our stories. Today's story time is pretty special. I want you guys to write your own books. All you need to do something like that is some paper, some markers or pens or paint, and your imagination. Here is a story that somebody wrote for me. A little girl wrote for me, to Erin Hart Julia. And it has a picture she drew of me and her on the cover. It's a nice little story that just talks about how we met at the library. She came for a tour and thanking for all the things that she saw this day. What a great story. It's very simple and very easy to do. And you guys could write one too. You can write it in Braille with bumpy dots. You can write it in print with a pencil or marker. You could write it in pictures. You don't need to have any words at all. And you know, if you don't wanna write it down, you can also record it. You can make a video story or an audio story that you just listen to, or even you can use your hands to tell the story. There's a lot of different ways we can tell our stories. And I wanna see which ones you're gonna write today, just like this Miss Julia did. All right, my friends, let's put that away. We are still celebrating Dia de los Niños, Day of the Children, Dia de Libros, Day of the Books, because it's time to get our egg shakers out and we are going to sing a song in both English and Spanish today with our egg shakers. So let me hear those egg shakers shake. Yay! Yes, get those shakes out. Get your sillies out, shake them out. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. It's called My Body Makes Music or Mi Cuerpo Hace Musica. It's written by Gil Raldiris, who's a musician from Puerto Rico. And here we go. We're gonna learn some Spanish words when we sing our song with our eggs. 
Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mis manos hacen cha, cha, cha. Mis pies hacen stop, stop, stop. Mi boca hace la, la, la. Mi cuerpo hace cha, cha, cha. My body, my body, my body makes music. My body, my body, my body makes music. My hands can go clap, clap, clap. My feet can go stomp, stomp, stomp. My mouth will sing la, la, la. My body dances cha, cha, cha. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Good job, my friends. What a fun song to sing and dance to. Did you make music by clapping your hands? Did you make music by stomping your feet? Did you make music by singing out loud? And did you make music by dancing your whole body? Yeah, so much fun to do with our egg shakers. Let's give those shakers one last shake. As hard as you can, because we are putting them away. Goodbye, egg shakers. It's time for our puppet story. Today, we usually will have dinosaurs. Today, though, we have someone special. We have Story Cat. Hello, Story Cat. Story Cat can tell all kinds of stories in all kinds of ways, just like you can. Just like you could write it in a book, how we saw earlier, or say it out loud. So can Story Cat. Let's see. Story Cat can tell a story with her hands. She can sign. Hello? My name is Cat. I'll show you how to do that with your hands too. Hello, my name is Cat. There we go. She can tell a story with her voice. La 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 la. La 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 la. In all kinds of languages. Hola, me llamo Gato. Bonjour, Monsieur Bel Cat. Hello, my name is Cat. She can also tell a story with a pencil or a pen. Let's give her one of those. Yes, there it is. She's going to scribble it down. Scribble, 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 scribble. Give her some paper to write. Scribble, scribble, scribble. She's writing her story down there. Or she can read a story with her fingers. Yes, she can read Braille. Just like our book, Fiesta, she can read the braille that's along the side and know what it says. Yes, she can read just like that too. She can also listen to a story with these ears she has on top. And so can you too. Yes. Thank you, Story Cat. Oh, she's saying goodbye. She has another story to write somewhere else. Okay, goodbye, Miss Story Cat. Thank you. Because you know what, my friends, it is already time for us to do our eating song and for story time to be all done. Let's go ahead and eat. We are eating apples and bananas in this song. Here we go. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I'd like some more, more, more. Please and thank you. I'd like some more, more, more. Please and thank you. And thank you, my friends, for listening to today's story time, for celebrating El Dia de los Niños. Si estamos celebrando El Dia de los Niños, we are celebrating our day of children and 
lots and lots of days of reading. Yes, my friends, time to say our goodbye poem. And I hope you get to reading, especially this stack of books that we learned about today in our story time. All right, my friends, let's go. On my face, I have a nose. And way down here, I have 10 toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. I have a head to help me think. I have a chin and very near, I have two ears to help me hear. I have a mouth with which to speak. And when I run, I use my feet. I have two arms to hold up high, and here's a hand to wave. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again next time, and happy Dia de los Niños.